Number two, why do some small bridges have weight limits that depend on how many wheels or axles the crossing vehicle has? Okie dokie. So in this case, we're going to be talking a little bit about physics, but tying it into chemistry, right? And pressure. Now, weight limits have everything to do with the type of force. If you guys have taken physics, or if not, that's okay. But a, a person's weight or any type of weight that's on earth, in this case, it's the bridge, right? How much there's a weight limit on the bridge. Weight is basically a force. So it's represented by a force. It's represented as newtons. Now, in terms of pressure and forces, there is a relationship between them. And that's this one right here. P equals FA. The amount of pressure that can be put on a uh, particular object depends on how much force is being applied per a type of area, or mainly a surface area. So, if we're talking about wheels or axles, right, of a crossing vehicle, let's put two things maybe together, right? So let's just say that I'm trying to cross over this bridge. Here's my lovely bridge. Oh my goodness. Here's my lovely bridge. And let's just say it's, you know, wow, what a lovely bridge. I have no idea what I just drew, but it's, a, it's supposed to be a bridge. Okay, there it is. It's three dimensional now. So we have two options. We have one truck that has four wheels and it's, they're very close together. And then we have a bigger truck that maybe has eight wheels. So it has one, two. These are doubled up, right? So we have one, two, and then maybe we have three, four. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have, like, the double wheels in the back. Sometimes if you see on these big trucks. And then maybe we have double wheels on the t on the on the front, but you kind of get the gist. There's basically four wheels here and eight total wheels here. And we're trying to cross this little small bridge. So there's going to be a max amount of pressure that this bridge can take, right? Until it cracks. So what does that have to do with? Well, Let's just say that these basically, even though they don't look like it, let's just say that they weigh the same. The only difference is that one is longer and one is smaller, right? So the amount of force would be roughly the same, right? Because the weight is represented as a force. So now let's just talk about the pressure versus the surface area. This is an indirect relationship because pressure is in a numerator. Remember, this is over one. An area is in the denominator. If you see that you have something in the numerator and something in the denominator across the equal sign, those are inversely related. So we can say that if pressure increases, or actually let's just say it in terms of surface area first. So if the surface area increases, that means that the overall pressure that it's putting out will decrease. And if the surface area decreases, then the pressure of that object would increase. So let's just see which one of these would have the higher or lower surface area. Well, in terms of the big truck, we have eight wheels, so we have way more contact on the ground than we would have with just the four-wheel guy, right? Also, this is over a, a wider... Uh, length, right? So the surface area for this one would be much higher than the little guy. So this one actually would have a higher surface area. And then the blue uh, truck would have a lower surface area. It's more compact. So when the big truck with the greater surface area comes along and tries to go across the bridge, it's fine. Because with the higher surface area, the lower the amount of pressure that it puts out. This truck, however, that doesn't have as great of a surface area when he tries to ride over the bridge, oops, it might split. 
And that's because it's exerting out a higher pressure than the longer truck. So that's why some small bridges have weight limits that depend on how many wheels or axles, you know, the crossing vehicle has. Because if that, um, you know, if that truck doesn't have a high surface area, it's going to exert a lot of pressure. And sometimes the bridge might be able, might not be able to take it. So hopefully this idea helps. Hopefully we understand that surface area and pressure are inversely proportioned to each other. And we're just saying that it's basically set for a specific force. Okay. So force has to be constant. And then you just toggle between back to surface area and the pressure. So hopefully this helped. I hope you love my drawings <laughs> and I will see you all in the next lesson. And if you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button. That will help us out and I will see you later. Bye-bye.